so we have breaking news that Biden Deputy Press Secretary T.J. Ducklow has resigned after he made those awful, disgusting comments to political reporter Tara Palmieri. Now, I did a video on this yesterday morning. I want you to check that out where I go into some of the details. But the broad story is that Ducklow was dating a reporter that covered Joe Biden during the 2020 election when he was the head campaign press secretary and a journalist wanted to ask him, you know, are there any conflict issues with you dating somebody whose main job was to cover your boss? And he flipped out and said to that woman, I will destroy her. He basically called her ugly, saying that she was jealous of my hotter girlfriend and it was woefully inappropriate hundred percent and so they suspended him but basically they weren't going to do enough at first and I talked about how you know Biden needed to live up to his promise that he made when he just became president which was if you are as, as one of my top staffers mistreat people I will fire you and I want to play you that clip again because it is important we have an obligation but we also have a great privilege. Very few times does an individual get an opportunity to do something that can fundamentally, positively impact on other people's lives, not only here but around the world. You're engaged in and you're working with the most, the most decent government in the world. And we have to restore the soul of this country, and I'm counting on all of you to be part of that. But I'm not joking when I say this. If you're ever working with me and I hear you treat another colleague with disrespect, talk down to someone, I promise you I will fire you on the spot. On the spot. No ifs, ands, or buts. Everybody, everybody is entitled to be treated with decency and dignity. That's been missing in a big way the last four years. And so there's no ifs, ands, or buts there. You do this sort of thing, like what Ducklow did, and you're gone. And it's good to see that he is gone. I want to read you the statements here. This is from Jen Psaki first. This is the, the head press secretary. She says, we accepted the resignation of TJ Ducklow after a discussion with him this evening. The conversation occurred with the support of the White House Chief of Staff. We are committed to striving every day to meet the standards set by the president in treating others with dignity and respect, with civility, and with a value for others through our words and our actions. And then he says, this is his personal statement, no words can express my regret, my embarrassment, and my disgust for my behavior. I use language that no woman should ever have to hear from anyone, especially in a situation when she was just trying to do her job. It was language that was abhorrent, disrespectful, and unacceptable. I am devastated to have embarrassed and disappointed my White House colleagues and President Biden. And after a discussion with White House Communications leadership tonight, I resigned my position and will not be it to returning from administrative leave. I know this was terrible. I know I can't take it back, but I also know I can learn from it and do better. This incident is not representative of who I am as a person, and I will be determined to earn back the trust of everyone I have let down because of my intolerable actions. So that sounds great. Now, as always with these sorts of things, we don't necessarily know if this is a, you know, I resigned, resigned, or I was asked to tender my resignation or I would be fired. You never know 100%. I'm leaning towards the latter. But you can't necessarily know for sure. What we do know is they weren't originally going to fire him, but I think that media pressure led them to that action. On the whole, however, in a limited sense, you got to give Biden and the team some credit here. Some credit where credit is due. One of their staffers did an awful thing. Biden said, if you do those awful things, you're going to be gone. And this guy is gone. If that's the tone going forward, that's encouraging to see. So I hope that Biden holds his staff accountable in a way the previous president didn't.